What's up guys? As you probably know, Apple just released iOS 5 Beta 1 for developers to download. Now, before we actually get started with this video, I want to give a shout out to Mr. AJ's Tech. He hooked me up with 5.0 or iOS 5 before the download links were going around, so big shout out to him. Go check out his YouTube channel. I'll post an annotation right here in this video. Just click on that and subscribe to him. He's pretty cool. So uh, let's get on with this video now. So basically, 5.0 was released, 5.0 Beta 1, and that is available to developers. And as you guys can see, I have 5.0 Beta 1 for the iPhone 4 right on my desktop. Now, iTunes 10.5 was also released for developers. And as you guys can see, I'm going to go to File. I mean, sorry, iTunes about iTunes and here you guys are it says 10.5 beta 27 that means that I am running ten, iTunes 10.5 um, the beta and that is also only available to developers now the download links for these two things for the iOS 5 beta 1 and iTunes 10.5 you guys can download this from limerain.cc I'll post a link in the video description below so you can check it out uh, but any, anyway guys, here are all of the downloads for 5.0 Beta 1. As you can see, we have the Apple TV, iPad 1st generation, iPad 2nd generation, iPad um, 2, different wi the Wi-Fi model, the AT&T model, the Verizon model, the iPhone, different iPhone 3G, uh, different iPhones, iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPhone 4, uh, Verizon, and so on and so forth. Now at the bottom we have the iTunes 10.5 downloads for the different operating systems. So uh, first you guys must download iTunes 10.5. Make sure you update it from iTunes 10.2.2 to iTunes 10.5 first. Then you guys should download the uh, iOS 5 and then you can restore to that. Now in order to restore to iOS 5 beta 1 you guys will need to have your UDID registered with Apple or else this will not work you guys will not be able to actually use iOS beta iOS 5 beta 1 on your device unless you guys have the UDID for your device registered with Apple and like it says right here your device will not need to be activated you can activate your device by going to iOS activations for that install a beta on a non activated device will render it useless so don't try it guys you may run into some problems and that's basically it, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, here are all the download links for iOS 5, Beta 1, and iTunes 10.5. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.